go! What the fuck? I'm sorry, but before this whole video thing starts... What is this? 86% of you aren't subbed? If you want to sub, you should do that. Um, also, Discord link is down below. <laughs> now, it's important that I clarify this before we start the challenge. Some movement accessories are allowed. What? Is this serious? I, I know. It sounds bad, but listen up. Anything that allows us to dash, fly, or have super acceleration, or even climb walls is not allowed. But things like the aglet that just increase movement speed, I did allow for this challenge. Don't freak out. I mean, it's not like I'm putting them on my feet and running fast with them or something. Thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you now, because if you have a problem with it, you don't want to watch the video anymore. Fine, I guess. See ya, goodbye. You know now. For the rest of you that are staying, go ahead, take a seat. Go um, go grab some snacks, some popcorn, a scoop of peanut butter. That's my go-to. Because this is gonna be a pretty interesting video. And one more thing, don't take your eyes off the video at any point. Make sure to pay attention. You know, it took me a long time to make this. I, I don't know if you could tell, but I, I did take some inspiration for my character design. Um. Yo, but actually making this character was pretty funny. What is that? <laughs> Boy. Boy if you don't... Check out this one. That's not bad. That's really not bad. I care about you being mad, man. Come on, turn around. Turn around. And yo, I just realized this thing is pretty slow. Like, I thought it was way faster than this. Oh, no. Gotta break this dude's ankles. Uh, yep. Gone. Oh, my God, gone. Now, on my quest to prove that the magic carpet is not only not bad, but it is one of the greatest movement accessories you could have. I needed to gear up, and for that, I headed to the underground desert. Are you serious? Oh, give me a Latin classic real quick. Yup. All right, after like five seconds, I find myself in a pretty bad situation. But don't worry, I'm a genius, and I figure it all out. Drop down after the magic carpet. Go over here. These guys shoot their sand. These guys move that direction. I juke them over here. I run back down, activate the carpet, fly safely into the door. No problem, and I get all the loot. Yup, just like that, lure them over. Fall down. Okay. So yeah, then I went to go work on my house for a bit. Decided because I'm doing the magic carpet, I would go with like a deserty house, a nice little cactus. Most of the rooms weren't valid housing apparently, but you know, it was something. It was, it was something for my day one. I went back underground, collected ancient items chisel, like the ancient chisel, extractinator, and the bass statue. I did end up dying a couple times. Uh, what? Oh my god. Man, man, man. Oh, sh oh, fuck. Uh, all the times I got out of there. Loot the chest, loot the chest. I'm gone. Anyways, we collected a bunch of ancient fossils underground and extracted those, and we made full fossil armor, bought a shit ton of shurikens from the merchant, and just like that, we were ready to take on the Eater Worlds. <laughs> Or it would have been if the game didn't glitch out and bug. Spawning in way too many Eater of Souls. Like, this, like bro, I couldn't even build my arena. Like, making an arena for a magic carpet is, like, a task in itself. And doing it in the corruption, bro, that was a problem for me. And then, of course, they wanted to start raining slime. No, is slime raining from the sky? Oh, my God, bro, no. So, I cooked up a little small arena that I thought kind of made sense for the magic carpet. And we were ready to fight King Slime. <laughs> Can't get me, buddy. You keep trying that. It's not going to work, pal. Whoa. Oh, juke ya. Happy feet. Mm, my boy got hops. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. But we really might run out of shuriken straight up. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Yo, dude, that's, that's huge. That's actually so huge. That's so lucky. Hi, how are you? I started Liddy Swans to fight. <gasps> Let's go. After popping a whole bunch of heart crystals, we were ready to go back to the corruption. I finished up the arena and dealt with some meter souls. I went to go break shadow orbs. But for some reason, that was a problem for me. Oh, shoot. Wait. No. <laughs> wait. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, two of those should do it. Oh my god. Go move! Move, bro! Dude, I'm. At, this is actually ridiculous. This is ridiculous, bro. This is actually so messed up. Alright, anyways, we actually have the summon this time, so we won't get stuck down there. Let's go. Bro, I feel like this is bad content, bro. I haven't even seen the boss yet. Alright, we'll get a little bit more close and personal. Oh, that's a, that's a bit that's a bit close, man. Woo! Yup. This is, like, literally the worst spot I could physically be right now. This is horrible. Why did I do this? The fight would have the fight would have gone well. I would have won. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and try this again. 
Eat your worlds, I'm gonna let that one slide. But don't let it happen again. Oh, he's, he gets up close, man. The little guy's not a jump. Oh my god, we're out of shuriken. Uh -huh. Bro, I got a star fear. What am I, I'm, why am I complaining, bro? I'm chilling. I'm fine. Hit you with one of those. Hit you with one of these. I then went on to kill the Eye Cthulhu, which was pretty easy, so I'm just going to skip into the fight a little bit. <sighs> Backup chompers. He's, he's pretty easy. Duke that zombie real quick. Just go AFK real quick. Ooh, too easy. And yeah, after beating him, I used like the shadow scales and the demonite to make shadow armor. And the special thing about the shadow armor is it gives movement and acceleration. And if you didn't know, magic carpet actually does get faster based on the player's movement speed. So this armor is going to make the magic carpet way easier to use and just better overall. Actually, a thing about this challenge is we're always going to go for the armor that increases movement speed. Then I went to collect cactus to expand my empire and build up my base. I gotta say, this is one of my more unique bases I've made in these videos, but um, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's kind of good. It's like a double cactus pyramid type of thing. After that, we made an arena to kill Skeletron. Again, using the ropes, cause I don't really have any way of going vertically in this challenge. Also, our dungeon spawn was really like high up and the staircase was massive. And because of that, we learned something pretty crazy that's gonna help us later in this challenge from this fight. But yeah, I'm just gonna let the video play out. I'm not gonna talk too much. All right, we're back. We gotta wait until it's nighttime, but uh, I got a couple new accessories here. Got the aglet, and then I got the uh, mago. Ma Basically, we got these movement accessories that are gonna help us a lot in this fight. Gonna hopefully keep us safe from Skeletron and keep us quick during this fight. We also got uh, swiftness potions, so hopefully this goes well. I'll see you when it's nighttime. Bro, this is so good. Both hands down. Follow me up. Follow me up. Oh, yeah, we're gone. We're gone. Come on. Let's go. That literally took an entire night cycle. After defeating Skeletron, we went in the dungeon, and I just collected a few items like the Shadow Key, the Bewitching Table that I thought would be useful. We also saw the Mechanic. Oh, Mechanic, we need her. Oh, are you serious, bro? Look at her head! Oh, wait, yo, the Goblin. Afterwards, we went to the jungle to try to get the Anklet of the Wind. Hopefully, he's gonna give us a huge speed boost to our magic carpet. Eventually, we did end up finding it. All right, this could be it. That's it. There we go. And I went right back home after that because I don't really see any point in killing the queen bee. The next step for me was the wall of flesh. By the way, we are not switching to hell armor. The movement speed in the shadow armor is way too good, which we're definitely going to need. I mean, guys, cl close your eyes and imagine this for me. You're fighting the wall of flesh. It's starting to get to the end of the fight, right? And all of a sudden, you're running with your speed boots. But the wall of flesh is catching up. He's catching up quick. And he's now faster than your speed boots. You got to kill him quick or you're going to die. I'm hoping, bro, that the magic carpet is hopefully fast enough to where we don't get stuck like behind him. He starts pulling us and just everything goes crazy. Also, I wanted to get the slice of cake from the party girl, but the party girl has a one out of 40 chance of spawning every morning and evening. And I wasn't about to wait eight hours, which is the average time it would take. So we're just doing the fight without her. All right, well, uh, I'm ready. We got some potions here. Got a whole bunch. Also, I used the shadow key to open shadow chest and I got this bow that you probably saw earlier when I was talking. Hopefully this is good enough to kill him, because I don't want to do this again. Let's go. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Oh! Bro, why we got a bone worm? Oh, I need a buff. I, I forgot. I'm so low already. Damn. Oh, no, I got slow fall on, bro. Dude, the slow fall actually just not, is not helping. Let's take that off. Where is that? There we go. It's off. Oh, he's taking he's taking fat damage, though. Oh, my. Dude, why is he taking so much damage? Damn. Come on, buddy. Let's go. I'm actually so quick. Oh, dude, my hate my HP. I need you back up. Come on. Come on. Come on, please. Please, please, please. Die. Let's go. That was pretty close. Oh, 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 dude. Oh. What do we get? Ranger emblem. Okay, we can work with that. Can y'all chill? Pop the demon heart. Equip the ranger emblem. Yeah, I think we're definitely going ranger this playthrough. We even got a, a gun. All right, guys, I'll tell you what. I'll show you a little bit of the gear up process, like the funny parts or entertaining parts, you know, all that stuff. But really, I want to get to the mechanical bosses just to test out like the magic carpet versus the harder bosses. Okay, destroy these. And we have to get out quickly. Oh my God, I, bro, I can hardly reach. 
reach. Wait, they, wait, they can't even get me, bro. <laughs> I literally just beat all of them. Ow, yo, relax, relax. I need to grab these. I need to grab these quick. Oh, let's go, let's go. We're gone. Oh, buddy, 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 but. <gasps> Whoa, what the freak? Okay, let's look at these guys. Bro. <gasps> Damn. Bro, I just got on after, like, not playing for a couple days. I was editing, and I forgot how quick I am. Look how quick I am, bro. That's not even a potion or nothing. <laughs> bro, but tell me why I woke up this morning, and I, I leave my room, and I see a dark figure halfway up the stairs, not moving. So, of course, I jumped back. I was like, what the fuck? And it was my mom, bro. Like, I guess she just, like, went AFK, like, when she heard me coming, but. All right, what do we have to do? Uh, we got this place flattened out. Let's start, uh, I'm gonna start work on, uh, the Great Pyramid, which is what I'm gonna be calling my new arena design. So I think the plan really is just to have, like, a slope here, another slope here, and a slope going back down. And then we could just, like, surf our way out of any problem, hopefully. Dude. Dude. Oh, wait, no, my. Oh, my God. I think I'm dead. I'm chilling. Oh, look who decided to show up. Hey there. What's going on? Hey. Oh. Hey, I mean. What? Um, I have a boyfriend. Oh. Oh, so it's like that, huh? Hey, buddy, goblin. Think you could just take my girl? Just like that? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Damn, I just realized I went here to go buy the slice of cake. Oh, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. But you don't buy it. You gotta, you gotta wait for their party to start. So like, I'm still not getting that cake, man. Well, maybe there's a, maybe it's a different type of cake I can get. Hey, is this no. nigga serious? Yeah, that brother's yes, starving. Yes, sir. Right <laughs> now I'm looking at the armor for like movement speed, and bro, they got all this random shit like velocity tiles per second, but then velocity feet per second. I don't know, man. <laughs> Like, what am I looking at? All right, so do we want, like, adamantite? Like, why is it just telling me about the legs, bro? What about the armor set? You got the crystal assassin armor. It gives 20 movement speeds. Is that better? Is this what I want to go for? I really don't know. And then it's like, if I'm going for this armor, what armor do I get to kill Queen Slime? Should I even get armor? Should I just try to fight her right now? I mean, I guess we'll just try to fight her right now with shadow armor. I heard she's kind of easy, but uh, I don't really know. All right, here we go. I feel like it's just about a jump cut to me being dead. Yo, where's she at? That's that's not even fair. No! 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 Yup, buddy, going down. You're too easy. You're too easy for me. No! Alright, we got the armor set now. The movement speed is pretty good. I still don't think it's as good as the shadow armor, but I'm not going to be using the shadow armor versus the destroyer. So yeah, I think the plan is to kill the destroyer and then make the mega shark. And hopefully we can take out the other bosses with that. All right. Well, here we go. There's no shot. I just literally magic mirrored back home. Bro, y'all are going to think that was fake too, but like that was, that was legit. That was legit, man. All right. Why are we one tap already? Bro, oh my. All right, come on, bro. He's so low. Give me the hearts. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure it's all like the magic clouds doing the damage. This gun is not good for this. Look at my die of all damage. Oh, this is bad. Hold up. Get out the way. Move. <gasps> I need these hearts. What? Well, I can't move. I can't move. I'm getting stuck. I'm getting stuck. No shot. I die. Oh, he died. Let's go. I didn't even, bro. I wasn't even looking. Where's the bag at? <laughs> bro, yeah, the clouds were doing all the damage. I don't, I don't even know if I was shooting him when he died. <laughs> no shot. I die. Oh, he died. Hey, there's a scorpion coming out of my, my freaking elevator, dude. Oh, I just dashed. Challenge over. Oh, hey, hey, buddy, buddy. Can you come out of here? He can't fit. Relatable issue. Oh, hey. All right, now with the Mega Shark in hand, we are ready to take on the twins, the eyeballers. All right, Magic Carpet Meatball Edition. You heard me right. Like, oh, there's not there's not many places I can go. All right, we're about to hit this slope on him. Yup. Go over. 
Yup, drop down. He's taking so much damage. I don't know where I'm getting all this damage from, bro. But. Oh, I'm stuck on a rope. Woo. Oh, he about to pop, bro. He about to pop. Go down, go down. Grab the cake. I missed. I never get that cake, dude. All right, drop down, drop down. Hit the slope. Go over him. Really oh, he's mad. turning. See if the magic carpet can hang, bro. Grab the cake. Ugh. Woo! He's not messing around, bro. Oh, he can't catch it to me in that, that mode. Ooh, drop on him. Okay, hold on. Let's gather ourselves. Take a deep breath in. Fortunately, I've been in this exact situation three times before. Win! Okay, um, there seems to be a problem. There seems to be a problem. There seems to be a problem. Please die. Oh my god. Oh, they both turned at the same time. This is, um, not good. This is really not. Oh, bro, I'm not dying right now. Yup. Fuck you. Twins are too easy, man. Now, Skeletron is who I'm really worried about, bro. Like, every time I fight him, my strategy is to circle around him. And now I can only go left and right. So I'm, I don't really know how I'm gonna beat him. Ooh, that's a... Woo! You look like that, buddy. Happy feet! Combo, combo! Mind grabbing someone. That's how I feel. Ugh. Why is there a random ass gnome here, bro? Go down, go. There we go. Right now, we need to brainstorm on how we're killing Plantera. Like dog. How the hell are we gonna beat that? Anyways, I got some, I got a note sheet here. Don't ask like where I am right now, but. So we can only move horizontally. Plantera shoots projectiles. So if I'm in here trying to trying to kill her, she's just gonna shoot them and I'm, I don't got any space to go. I don't like, see the bullets follow me. The bullets are following me. So I think automatically that's off the table. How do we move vertically? Well, if we have these slopes, we could totally just like ride up them and the bullets would never be able to catch up to me. But bro, how am I gonna make arena? that large underground in the jungle and even then i get here she might be here bro and then i'm just I'm, I'm caked however i did think of a solution for that we ride the slope get here ride this up and then i can just fly over her and she chases me then we like repeat the cycle but dude do i really have to make an arena that large for this challenge just for this one boss i'm not doing all that bro i'm i can't i'm sorry like i'm not too late your boy cooked up an arena and we're ready to fight this bitch all right i'm not even gonna lie to you guys right now this fight took so long i mean at least seven attempts i kept changing the arena slightly using rope go vertically nothing was really working but i kept getting really close so i just kept trying bro and we finally beat her. Ooh, get a little close. Don't want to get that close. Come on, motherfucker. Let's go. All right, let's get Gollum over with real quick. All right, guys. It's been a minute since the last clip. And I have bulked up, bro. I'm now melee. I got the Terra Blade. I got full turtle armor. Got a nice little arena design. Hit this slope. Hit, hit her head. Hit that slope. Right over here. Grab that. Pop up here. All right. Here we go. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Let's go. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to show all that, but that took like seven attempts as well. I took fall damage. Oh my God, bro. Relax. No. Hit him with a movement. Ride the slope. You know, they actually called me the sloper back in, uh, hometown hey hit him with the repeated combos bro we don't gotta we don't gotta get all fancy on him the routes uh, whoa get get me out of here i'm stuck 
Anyway, after Gollum tortured us, we went to improve our arena. The plan was to make an arena that we could kill Moonwind with, so I was going for like a giant, um, rhombus design. So I could just like ride him. Pause. So I could ride like around him when he shoots his laser and not die, hopefully. That was the plan anyways. Yeah, after that, we were ready to fight the occultists. Uh, yeah, actually all the footage from that got deleted. I kind of forgot to record it. All right, anyways, Moon Lord, yay! But guys, it wasn't looking good for me. The magic carpet just wasn't quick enough. I kept getting hit by the laser and I was dying and I had to, I had to keep right. retrying. It just wasn't looking good for me and I, I started to doubt what, if this challenge that was, was possible. Hard. Attempt after attempt. When I thought all hope was lost, that's when I heard it. The words from Aladdin, my ancestors. Go, what the fuck? Go magic carpet, go. And I knew I couldn't lose. I knew I had to beat Moon Lord. Oh, we're- oh, we ain't dying to that. We ain't dying to that. Oh, we ain't dead. We dead. Now, way too quick for him. Dodge. Weave on him. Who is this guy? Who's gonna carry the boats? <laughs> ah. Yup. Yup. Yes. We're so low, please. Yes. We just beat the game with only a magic carpet as our movement.